welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am back with the AFL Evolution video. I have created the Victorian team and I've created the All-Star team as well that is going to play in the Bushfire Appeal match. And I'm going to play as Victoria versus the All-Stars on Legendary and see who's going to win the game in a week and a bit's time. Alright, here we go. It's Victoria versus the All-Stars at Marvel Stadium. Look at the turnout. Look at the team. So I put Danger in the forward pocket so I could get the Bont into the middle. I opened up a spot in the midfield. Look at the All-Stars team. That is a killer forward line. It's a killer team, to be honest. A great spectacle and a great event for the Bushfire Appeal. And we got a free kick early. Cameron to Goldenstein. To Cameron. Back to Goldie. Give it off. Goldie. Oh, Grundy. That is elite ball use. And he's hit up Crips. Well, that can't be 15. Oh, it's a good battle early between Goldstein and Grundy. But we're out. This is Gray. Oh, he took his time. He took his time, Tom Papley. He's going a little bit short arm there. Spills out. Off the ground. Danger. Danger for the All-Stars because he's bloody slotted one. They got the first on the board. My little forward pocket of danger. Brilliant coaching move by me. Oh, Fife. For a quick response. This is an absolute masterclass from both sides. Fife, he just gets the pill and bangs her along. Hawker, the big tomahawk. He's going to drop one short. And it's Charlie Cameron. Who passes one off to Titch Edwards. Shane Edwards having his first shot on goal. And he's kicked one. Jeez, danger down forward is so, so handy. Well done, Pendleby. To Goldenstein. Oh, he tried to shake and bake a little too many. <laughs> and Shepard caught him. Someone's got to mark that, surely. Cripps. Decked. Josh Kelly. Ambles to no one. Tried to take them all on was Brad Hill. That's a penetrating kick long. Lynch. Tom Lynch. Extends the jokes. And we'll kick to level her up. All even at quarter time here at Marvel in the Bushfire Appeal game. Let's see who's had their fair share of it. Jeremy Cameron, four touches. Goldie, my man, doing absolute bits in the ruck with three. Pendles has two. Nat Fife, well, we saw him get heaps of it. He's got four. Shepard's got three. And Howe, coming off the back line, has three touches. Goldie won the tap. Grundy's back in the ruck. Well done, Cameron. Enforcing himself. And we got a free somehow, even though Cameron's killed someone. Danger marks on Shepard and says, oh, I'm better than you, Brad. Runs in. Goal. <laughs> Vix get the first of the second. And they get it on. And this is great. He's got a man over the top. Took a little too long to react. So did Lynch. Oh, we butchered that. That's just the lack of team chemistry there, I reckon. We're struggling to finish the VIX. Whitfield surely finished the snag. It's not going to make the distance. Andrews punches on the line. They go to work, the All-Stars boys. Danger, get a boot to it. He can't. Cameron pushing the back. It's a free kick to Pendles. And this will give the VIX a 15-point lead. Well done. Really good start here by the boys. Doing really well. So they're pushing it forward now, the All-Stars. This is really good work out in the middle. He just didn't want it. Tomahawk late in the second term. Goes the barrel. He just missed. So it's going to be a 14-point lead to the VIX at halftime. Halftime here at Marvel, 28-14. Dangers kick two. Jeremy Cameron 
has had seven touches of the pill. We're going to the second half now. All-Stars want to get a little bit of a wriggle on, I reckon. Charlie Cameron marks. And converts, so he reduces it to eight points. Victoria, 28. The All-Stars, 20. They're on top of the moment, the All-Stars, and that's a poor tackle by the Blitz. Charlie Cameron has kicked another one. That's two in a row for him, I reckon, and he reduces it to two points here. Goldie giving a bit to Grundy now. Great handball over the top. The release to the Bont. We have had a lot of missed opportunities. Jeez, they're taking it on through the guts, and it's worked to five. Who turns it over? Jeremy Cameron. I reckon Jeremy Cameron reckons he's in range. If he can get around the bloke on the mark and load up from 60. He's just missed. To the big grund in the middle. He's got five. Goes long and Lockie Waller back with the flight. This to give the All-Stars a lead. Late in the third, he's kicked it. And the All-Stars are in front. Haynes with the free. Do I try and release Dusty? I do. I do try and I do release him. I was just going to go back to Haynes, but it's gone in the middle and we couldn't get it over the top. Come on, boys. We can't let him get one late here, I don't think. Oh, well done. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is massive. This is the biggest kick of the game on the three quarter time siren. Shane Edwards gives the All-Stars an eight-point lead. That's ginormous. Three-quarter time, the All-Stars 38, the Vicks 30. Jeremy Cameron with nine touches, but yet to register a goal. Need to make the most out of him. Last quarter stuff, it all comes down to this. The Victorian team are trailing. Oh, just a handball to the ground. It's not going to work. Danger, got his head ripped off. Hit someone up. Hit someone up. Well done. Tom Lynch. From the pocket. To reduce the margin to two. Oh, if that didn't shave the post, I don't know what has. I'll take it, but that looked like it shaved a bit of the woodwork. <laughs> Goldenstein. Just hold it in, Pendles. Hold it in. Hold it in. Trailing by two. Well done, Goldie. Jeremy Cameron. The turning circle was remarkable. Goldenstein, we need something from you here, pal. Tries to tap it central. Central have Lynch. Kick almost smothered. He slapped it on the boot, took his time. And we have the lead. Vicks up by four. Goldie, willing it forward. Goldie, he's been enormous all day. Oh, that would have been something, Todd. 12 minutes left. Fife has the pill. Hits up Andrews. Who hits up Shagenstein. He goes to Charlie Cameron. Charlie Cameron, if he kicks truly, will give the All-Stars a one-point lead. And he's missed. Goes wide. Lockie Neal marks. Goes a long way back, Lockie Neal. But sometimes you got to go backwards to go forwards. And that's not the case because Todd Goldstein marks. And now we're looking for the knockout blow. How intercepts. Chips to Neal. They've got to move it now. There's not a lot of time. And now Lloyd will line up. Game in his hands. The All-Stars are in front. Three minutes left. The All-Stars have taken the lead. Need something very clinical from here to the Vicks. Goldie. Pendles. Don't stuff around with it too long. Oh, Lynch. We've wrestled it back. 
the Vicks are up by three points. Lynch was enormous there. There surely can't be another score change. Five. Lowers the eyes. Charlie Cameron. He's passed it off, Cameron. And intercepted by Haynes. Oh, I thought Charlie Cameron was going to have the shot. If I can kick it long, it's probably the game. And it is. Charlie Cameron didn't want to take the responsibility. Oh, boy. That was going to be an absolute choke and a half because I thought Cameron was just going to slot it and it was only going to give me 50 seconds of wriggle room. Well, there you go. Jeremy Cameron still <laughs> could have done a lot more with those 11 touches. Goldstein, eight. I felt like he beat Grundy today. I felt like Goldie was on top. Well, there you have it, guys. That is me just having a bit of a an exhibition AFL Evolution game, if you will. Yeah, just having a bit of a play around with the Victoria and the All-Star team. Keen to watch that game in a week and a bit's time. That'll be, a, that'll be a ripper. And I've just put in the link down below the Bushfire Appeal as well, which is what they're going to be playing for in a week and a bit's time. All right, guys, I appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone watching, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers. Thank you.